Hi everybody, uh, this is Stacy with lovethatbug.blogspot.com. I figured with Christmas around the corner, I would go ahead and show you a really fun, cheap, inexpensive, super cool gift idea. Okay, it's great for coworkers, uh, family, friends, anybody. They're all gonna love it. Uh, what we're making are these pretty glittery ornaments. Okay, these are just regular glass ornaments that you buy at Michael's or, you know, uh, the during the holidays. But I believe Michael's has these year round. Um, and I buy a whole 12 pack of them, but they're super, e they're super easy to make. And if you have a Cricut, uh, you can just, you know, put a monogram on them like that, fill them with, you know, raffi and it'll look really pretty on a tree. Or if you're a pet lover like I am, I have one for my cat. Okay. And this guy, I caught little fish out. I also have one for my dog that's got bones on it. Um, but anyway, what you're going to need are glass ornaments. Okay. And I, you know, I buy the little 12 pack like that. Okay, so you're going to take your glass ornament. Now, this is how I do it. And, you know, just this is easier for me to do it. I also have a canning jar. Um, I keep this in my craft room. It's labeled here as this ornament jar for um, ornaments. Okay, and I'm, I kind of use this as a stand, okay, to hold my ornament. But, you know, if you want to use a cup or whatever, I just like using this. That way I know I'm not going to use it for anything else. So take your ornament, and you're going to need glitter. Um, I, this is Walmart glitter, you know, not the fancy stuff. But this is a fine glitter. There's also a chunky glitter. Okay, now let me show you the difference here. This green one was done with a fine glitter, okay? And then this green one was done with a chunky glitter. So the chunky glitter gives it a more of a sparkly, but the glitter or the fine glitter is really pretty as well, okay? And then you're also going to need um, this Pledge Future Floor Finish. This is maybe five or six dollars at Walmart, and you use a very, very little, okay? You really do use a l tiny little amount. So we're going to be using the purple glitter, okay? So I have my little jar here. Take the top off your ornament, and I set that in there. And then the uh, the floor thing has a little pull-off tab, and you're going to very carefully pour the floor or the floor finish in your ornament. And you don't need a lot, okay? Very little. I say I'm maybe about a quarter inch from the bottom. Okay, when it's in there, you know, take, you can take a wipey or whatever you want to do on the top, okay, and then shake. So all you're going to do is you're going to coat the ornament, the whole inside, with that floor finish. Okay, and then pour the excess off my little container. Now you can see I got bubbles. I normally wait, well, I don't know how you can see the bubbles, there's little bubbles in there. I normally wait a few seconds to let that drip, but for time's sake, I'm just gonna give it a good shake over here on my shower curtain I'm laying down. Okay, so set that aside, grab your glitter, and you wanna kinda make some kind of funnel. So again, I can hold this up like that, take my glitter, hopefully I can do this without making a complete mess, and you wanna take your glitter, oops, and fill, or you know, put it on the inside of your jar, and you don't need a lot of glitter either. You're gonna think, oh, she's using a lot of glitter, and actually it's not, okay? So once you have your glitter in there, again, you're gonna give it a shake. And you wanna do it a really good shake, okay? Oh, that purple one's really pretty, actually. Okay, all you're doing, you wanna make sure that the glitter is covering all that. Look, I got a sparkly, purpley finger. Okay, now I have this little tray here that I made, and I use it for my, uh, you know, my glitter catcher, and I have my little embossing buddy in there. Now I just pour the extra glitter off. Give it a good tap. Okay. And that fast, you put the cap back on. And I've had these, the ones I made already, I've had them for about two years, and they hold up fine. Um, this made it look uh, blue on the camera, but it actually is um, purple, and it's really, really pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back in here, and we're going to make... A chunky one okay so you can see the difference so again we're gonna grab another ornament take the top off, top off use my little stand and you know what we're gonna do purple chunky too I'm in a purple mood today okay so again take your floor wax pour that in there and again only about a quarter inch or so but don't worry we're not wasting anything that's why I have my cleaning jar so when I'm done 
using the, um, when I'm done filling the ornament up, I just release it in there. Okay, so again, you want to shake this up, fully coat the inside of your ornament, pour your excess in there, give it a good tap. And again, I, you know, like I said, I normally let that sit for a little while, maybe a minute or so, just to release the, um, the uh, bubbles. But for time's sake, we're not going to do that. Okay, so again, you want to put your ornament back facing upward so you can pour your glitter in. And this one's going to be harder because it's a chunky, chunky glitter. So hopefully I don't make a mess. But, you know, you can use the Martha Stewart glitter. You know, you can use kids glitter. You don't really need to get the fancy, fancy glitter here. Okay, but you're making, like I said, a really cute gift. Okay, I got that filled with glitter. And you can see not a lot of glitter in there. And again, shake really well. Okay, and there, that fast, we made an ornament. Okay, take, put it back in my tray. And again, dump off all that extra glitter, just to give it a good shake. A couple times around. So you can see all that glitter we put in there, the bulk of it comes out, so because it's only sticking to the inside of the ornament. Okay, so you're not using a whole lot of glitter. And then put your cap back on, or your uh, ornament lid back on. Okay, that fast. Now I'm going to show you here the canning jar method. You know, so if you have any, oops, look, I made a mess. Didn't want to do that on video. Oh, well. Okay. If you have the canning jar method like I did, now you want to reuse this because you can reuse that. Okay, so I'm going to close the lid on your cap. You want to make sure it's sealed shut. Twist the lid off. Now we're going to refill. What I have here is an old water bottle. I just cut, you know, a little bit off the lid to make my own little homemade funnel. And it doesn't quite fit on here. Um, but it's fine as long as you hold it there. Okay, it's like the, it's like the same size opening there as it is here. Okay, well, I'm sure I can get a smaller bottle, but that's what I had on hand. And then you just pour this back in there. So you're wasting very, very little, except for the, for the glitter that I just made a mess of on my uh, mat. Okay, but there we just made two really pretty ornament balls that you can decorate. Like I said, you can put vinyl on them. Um, I have ones here, like this one, I don't know how well you can see it. This one says hope, that one says joy, and these are both done with the uh, chunky glitter. I have one here that says peace, and I will show you another one, because I also have, oh, see, I know I have more. It was like a, a set, so there's another one that says love. This one was done with white um, chunky glitter, or a regular glitter, and this one was done with chunky glitter. This one didn't turn out really all that well, but I do like the kind of, I like the effect it gave. And I just monogrammed that there. Um, anyway, guys, any questions, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.